All right, now a little something for you gamers out there. Jack Black, Thieves, and Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, that's the actual name, um, is out. Adam Sessler, host of X-Play Weeknights on, at 6.30 on G4 TV, is joining us now. Good to see you, man. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you guys? Doing very well. Doing very well. Um, I guess we should start with Jack Black. Everybody knows him. Year One, yes. Nacho Libra, School of Rock. Um, now he's in video game form, so will this make us laugh, too? Yes, it, it definitely will make you laugh. It's easily one of the funniest video games I've ever played. It's called Brutal Legend, and he plays a roadie for a sort of very bad pop metal band. And uh, he has a magical belt buckle that when he has a stage accident, blood mixes with it, and he's brought to the world of metal. And as you can see there, it's, it's this amazing-looking world that's kind of based on the mythology of heavy metal album covers. And you'll see a mountain of skulls, you'll see sexy nurses, there's hot rods. And he has an adventure trying to organize a group of humans to fight off a demon. And because he is a roadie and knows how to organize things, he is the best suited man for the job. Obviously, there's wonderful voice work from Jack Black in the game, but there's also many stars of heavy metal. Ozzy Osbourne, Lemmy from Motorhead, and even some comedians like Brian Postain. Hasn't Jack Black got, a little, Black got a little bit more angular in this? He's a little more built, <laughs> yes, I think. Down. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, the, the, the look of the game is very, very stylized, which I love. It has the feeling of an adult cartoon, as opposed to a lot of other video games you can see out there that really go for a hyper-realistic look. And I think it really adds to the fun of the game, which is just exploring this amazingly imaginative environment and meeting up with the very curious characters you, you encounter. All right, so we're going to transition from heavy metal to precious metals, uh, a yes. game that's about thieves, right? Yes, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Um, this is a follow-up to a game for the PlayStation 3 that came out about two years ago. And while that first game was a very strong game, this game is an absolute achievement. I actually have considered it to be the best single-player game that I've ever played. Uh, you play a character named Nathan Drake, and you're looking for the lost ships of Marco Polo. And as what happened in the Indiana Jones-type you know, narrative, uh, there's something very, very powerful, and there are very, very evil people that want to get it, and it'll make them you know, amazingly evil and powerful, and you have to stop them. The real fun of this game is it feels like you're inside of the best adventure movie you can imagine. And, you know, most games, they kind of stop when you're playing to tell you a little bit of story. And in this, the two work seamlessly together. And you almost feel like you're telling the story as you're playing the game. And you just feel like the most awesome hero you can imagine. That animation is amazing. It really is. And, you know, what's funny is that a lot of times you, you know, after you play a game for a few hours, you think you've seen everything that the character can do. In this, I was still being surprised hours into playing it all the way to the very end. Wow. And for you to say that, I think that's yeah. pretty, pretty telling. I've, I've, I've played a lot. <laughs> yes, we suspect you have. All right, Halo 3, huge hit a couple of years ago. Now it's coming back. But adding a few more letters, so is this the same game or is this completely yes. different? Yes, ODST, Orbital Drop Shop. Drop shot troopers. See, even I have a problem with it. It's a tongue twister. It, it, it really is. It, it was actually originally called Halo 3 Recon, which is so much easier to fall off the tongue. I like that better. Um, the reason why it's called ODST is that you don't play the character of Master Chief, who has been the main character of Halo 1 through 3. In this, you play one of the normal army infantry, and you play many of them as their stories all interconnect. And what's kind of neat about this game is you see the world of Halo from a much different perspective. You're not as powerful as the Master Chief character, and so you have to be a lot more thoughtful about how you handle the combat situations. And what's really neat is you actually feel that you're much shorter than Master Chief. So some of the enemies that didn't seem so scary in the previous three games seem very large and looming in this one. That's very clever, playing with the perspective. Orbital yes, drop yes. shock trooper. Orbital drop shock trooper. Try it. By, by Monday, you'll have it perfectly. Super Califragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, uh, we'll we'll make, sure, uh, make sure to tell our audience that uh, you can watch uh, 630 G4 TV. Adam Sessler, host of X-Play. Good to see you, Adam. Hey, good to see you.